Hello, happy Monday. I'm going to see if anyone hops on and joins here. Um, today I am going to be talking about what you need to succeed in these uncertain times. Um, it's our part of our seven day live challenge. So here we go. I did take notes today. I was rambling a bit yesterday. So um, the first thing is to find the good things. Right now, it is super easy to obviously find the bad in things. There seems to be so much negativity, whether you turn on the TV, um, social media. Um, so it's really easy to find the bad, and I would love for you guys to look for the good in things. Um, look for the good in your family. Look for the good in your loved ones. Look for the good um, in this time of peace and slowing down. And then how to be happy. Um, and start just obsessing on looking for good. There is a lot of good out there, <clears throat> so you can find good just as easily as you can find bad. And uh, so tip one, look for the good. Uh, tip two, do not blame. We typically can be a society, um, it's very easy to blame others, especially right now. You can blame your boss, blame your economy, um, blame everything we have going on. Um, you know, we're in the middle of a global health scare and the economy is truly shifting daily. Um, I had a couple of closings today and Friday afternoon everything was normal. Today we have to print things off, have them signed, can drop them to the title company. They're figuring out how to sign remotely, all kinds of things just over the weekend. Um, so our lives are continually to change almost hourly. Um, so it's easy to fall behind and fall into the trap of blaming. So just know, uh, hey Drew, okay, and I forgot to yesterday even look who's on here, so I have no idea who was even on yesterday, but hey Drew, um, hey Adam. Um, so there we go, don't blame. Um, so you, what you can do instead is kind of look in the mirror instead of blaming, say, take responsibility. Um, you know, if you are have one of those careers that are, you are not working right now, like me, my husband, so many people, um, you know, you can look in the mirror and say, okay, what am I gonna do? We don't know how long this is gonna last, so what are you passionate about? Um, whatever you're passionate about, you can probably um, figure out how to do it online. There's so many courses right now. Um, so many people are offering free help, advice, so there's a ton of stuff out there right now. If you can look for the good and look for what you are passionate about, you can probably find something um, that could help, you know, until we get back to normal life. So, um, I can't even read my writing now that I wrote some things. Uh, tip three, I guess, is um, listen for clues. Shift to listen. Um, and watch. Success leaves clues. This is a big pointer that everyone always says. Success literally leaves clues. So you can obsess on something you love. If you want to be in real estate, if you want to write a book, um, if you want you know, to do anything really, you can just find success and follow people that are doing that. And they, they will leave clues. They will help. Um, every mentor I've had loves to help. Um, so find a mentor, find a mastermind, find a coach, immerse yourself um, because right now there's so much training out there. Um, people that normally get thousands of dollars for their programs are offering it up free just to help people in their mindset. So even though times are bad, um, today I believe this was all designed for a reason. So take responsibility. A lot of us are in this together. So tip one, find the good. Tip two, don't blame. Tip three, listen for clues. Um, and those are things you can do right now. Um, if your career is changing, don't go back to school is my one recommendation. I've heard this over and over. Everyone's like, oh, I'm going to get a career now in healthcare. Um, I highly recommend not looking at going back to school. Um, I went to business school and I've never once used it. My son, I just paid dearly for him to go to a four-year college and not sure it was the right decision. Um, I'm, there's definitely schooling for people. I shouldn't say 
I'm totally against schooling, but um, there could be other options um, instead. So there are programs that you can self-learn a lot as well. Another thing is listen to positive leaders. You guys, there's so many positive people to, li to listen to out there right now. Um, a few of my favorite leaders that have been just pouring out love and help are um, Eric Coover is our phenomenal leader, um, Gretchen Heinen, uh, Laura Stevens, Zach Slobin, Tyler Dickerhoof, Chris and Laurie Harder, Susan Sly, um, our Todd Cahill, so many great people. So I have a great list of leaders to follow if you are looking for some positive instead of um, all the negative stuff going on. So I haven't even literally turned on my TV since I've been home at all. We've been playing Wii, we've been doing other family activities and just staying positive watching those good people. So anything I can help anyone with uh, in these uncertain times, I definitely am here. Um, oh, I do have a couple other things um, to start reading. If you're home, working from home, um, some things I'm incorporated. Um, I went through yesterday of obviously waking up meditating, moving your body, and the next thing is reading. Um, I have not been a big reader. It's I have all these books and I start them and had never finished. Um, so what we were challenged to do is just read 10 pages a day. So when you think 10 pages a day seems really easy and believe it or not, I've started finishing books. So I'm gonna read, uh, show a couple that I've been reading if you're up for reading 10 pages a day. This one is Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. How do I do this? By Dr. Joe Dispenza. And this one really talks about um, the practice of meditation and how you can lose your mind and really create your new self. And um, I'm just starting in this, uh, but this book has been phenomenal. That's a good book. Um, the next book is You Versus You, um, How to Kick Your Own Ass and Win. Um, really just works on your mindset and it's a great, great read. Um, Simon Sinek, always a great one. Start with why. Um, if you're wondering what to do in life, um, you know, you can start with your why. This one I'm halfway through now. The Emotion Code, and this um, talks about um, how to release your trapped emotions for abundant health, love, and happiness. And this is what I'm going to be focusing in on is um, the Emotion Code and um, helping release people's emotions. So I'm learning about this, going to be working on this in the future. So super excited about that. So those are a few ones I've been reading recently. Um, so definitely challenge you to do the find a great book um, and read 10 pages a day. So I think I've rambled enough again today. Awesome. Uh, any comments? Let's see. I should look how to read here. I think we're good. So I'm wishing you all well. I pray for all of you um, that we all get through this and we all survive this together. So happy Monday. Uh, reach out. Look forward to hearing from y'all and have a great day.